Good girl, Holly. All right. Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm going to show you my simple technique for growing uh, microgreens. Uh, I do this uh, in the house on a light rack uh, that's got some fluorescent tubes on it. It's January now, and you definitely need some sort of additional light uh, if you're doing them this time of year. There's probably other times of the year that it's bright enough uh, outside and in other spaces where maybe you could do this without um, additional light, but I find in January I wouldn't be able to find a place really where I could get bright enough light. So I'm using fluorescent um, fluorescent grow uh, lamp to uh, to grow these. Only takes about two weeks. Um, it's amazing how fast you can grow nutrient dense food in the winter time and there's very little input. Um, let me go through the pieces here. I have one tray uh, right here that um, I actually cut some slits in the bottom of. It was a solid uh, tray. This is the tray that's like usually like the liner on the bottom of your annuals. Um, so it's just a, just a pla solid plastic tray. And uh, I cut some slits with a razor blade in the bottom of it to allow some water to drain out of it. You can get a tray that already has some holes in it, but sometimes the holes are so big that um, I'd end up losing soil and a seed and that kind of thing out of the bottom of them. So I like to just make small slits in the bottom of it. Then I have a solid tray that that one is sitting in. Okay, that will basically prevent any water from getting on my, uh, you know, on the fluorescent tubes, electrical things that I have um, inside. Uh, and so got a tray with slits in it sitting in a solid tray. I put about a half inch or less of seed starting mix in here. This takes very, very little soil. If you get a bag of soil, um, see some sort of seed starting mix, it'll last you a long time. You can actually do this with, I've seen it done with no soil. I've seen it done in paper towels. It can just be uh, moist paper towels sitting at the bottom. Uh, you can, um, I, I just always like, I, I find the cons I get a very consistent um, outcome with about between maybe three eighths and a half inch of um, seed starting mix in the bottom of that tray. That's it. It ends up in the re it'll ends up in the compost bin, which if you follow my channel, I'll show you that later. Then I have a third tray right here, okay, and I have two bricks. And at the end of this, after I put the seed into this tray, I'm going to put this weighted tray on top of it, okay, and that will keep the seed in good contact with the soil and uh, make sure that all the seeds uh, germinate. And that's pretty much it's pretty straightforward. The seeds you're going to use, um, I always get, I get a lot of my seed from Johnny's Seed, but you, there's any seed um, place that you're comfortable buying from will have microgreen mixes, okay? My favorite is actually just peas. Pea shoots are the best, and, and pea shoots you can typically cut and they'll regrow, and so you can get a couple rounds uh, on the peas. I did some peas last winter. Super fast and easy. I just don't have any today, so we're, we're going to use some other things. Um, I've got, uh, this is a brassica mix right here. Brassicas are going to be things like collards, kale, broccoli, um, and it's just a mixed seed of those things. Um, and uh, fantastic uh, for microgreens. Uh, I've got some arugula. Um, arugula can be a little more spicy. I'm not going to use any of that um, today, but uh, uh, I do like arugula. Um, I've got some Russian red kale, which of course is a brassica. Uh, but it's just the, um, it's all Russian red kale. This is fantastic uh, as a microgreen. Uh, and then um, there's some collards right here. Uh, that uh, Same thing, uh, another brassica. And then I've got some uh, alfalfa um, right here as well. And alfalfa makes a great, uh, uh, great microgreen as well. I think I'm going, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the uh, red Russian kale and the, uh, and the blended uh, brassicas because I like the red Russian kale a lot. And so I'm going to uh, um, do half of, the, half of the tray as that and the other half of the tray uh, as the other. I've also got some sunflower seeds um, as well. Sunflower shoots are fantastic. Sunflowers may be the easiest thing. If you want to try something easy the first time, um, you know, get the sunflowers and uh, the peas as well. Both of those are super, super easy. So basically I cut the slits in that tray. I put the soil in there. I put water uh, in the um, in the bottom tray and sat this one in there. Once it's once the color of the soil changed to a dark color, uh, I know the soil's moist, and I'm just going to sprinkle the seed uh, on top of it. Then I'm going to set that top piece on there, and then I'm going to put it on the light rack, um, and I'll show you I'll, I'll show you that when it gets to that point. I'm going to put the camera closer to show you how much seed I'm using because you are going to use quite a bit of seed. So I changed my mind and I went and got uh, my uh, sunflower uh, shoots. Uh, right here. I'm going to do half this tray of sunflowers just so you guys can see. 
uh, in the next couple weeks when I update this video uh, how easy uh, sunflowers uh, actually are. Also, you can see the seed better going down into this tray. So I'm going to do half of this tray over here as sunflowers, and then I'll do my brassicas uh, over in this area right here. But I just take them like this, and I sprinkle them, uh, and we're going to end up with them basically touching, but I don't want them piled. Uh, that's kind of an important part because if you get if you pile them up too much, um, they can actually get couple of issues where they don't germinate and they may end up rotting and causing a problem in your whole tray. We want to make sure every seed can get can get air and get water but we want to maximize the amount that we're getting. Okay, you would think that's enough but it's not quite. Okay, I think this is pretty close uh, to enough. I got a little bit of bare dirt here or there, but the seed will swell a little bit too. So, okay, I'm gonna tamp that down just a bit like that. Hopefully you can see about how close uh, these seeds are uh, together right there. Okay, so they're basically touching. I don't have you know, there's the occasional one sitting on top of another one, but uh, not bad. That's a pretty good effort. This may take a couple attempts, uh, if you haven't done this before, uh, to get them, you know, uh, spread out like that. Okay, so I'm going to use the, uh, I'm just going to use that brassica mix right here. This is a mild massica, uh, mild micro mix, um, brassica mix uh, from Johnny's. Okay. All right, this seed is much, much, much smaller. I still put it in my hand uh, to spread it. It is a tiny, tiny, tiny seed, um, as you can see right there. It's just tiny, tiny, tiny seeds. And again, we're doing this, I'm doing the same thing. I'm just trying to come up with some sort of pattern here that allows me to get it basically touching and not overlapping. There are probably people that are much more experienced and much better at this, but I get great results. So I think you can see how dense I have this seed here. You know, it's not, it's not overlapping, but it's, uh, if I put much more out there, it would be overlapping. And then there's the uh, sunflower seed uh, back in that area right there. I'm only gonna do one tray at the time. If I was doing more than one tray, uh, let's say if I was doing a whole tray of sunflowers, I was doing a whole tray of brassicas, doing a whole tray of peas, I would actually stack these trays on top of one another before I put the cap on. So I only need one cap. Uh, but I'm going to put this, put this piece on right here. Okay, this is the solid tray going right on the top of it. Just two heavy bricks right there to uh, create some weight uh, on top of it and keep the uh, seed sealed to the soil. So here's my light rack. Um, there's LED lights on here. Uh, there's fluorescent uh, tubes on here. Another one here. I'll link the video up in the corner if you're interested in uh, building your own. I actually do not need this tray to be on this light rack while these seeds germinate. They're actually not getting any light under there, but I've already started some of my fall vegetable seeds. So um, it's on, so I might as well go ahead and just set it there. But again, uh, they don't need any light until they've germinated. Uh, believe it or not, this seed is strong enough to actually push this tray up. And so over the next three, four days, that's what I'll see. I typically take the top tray off uh, after maybe day uh, three or four. I just wait for it to get lifted up just a little bit. And uh, it's amazing how strong these, uh, these seedlings actually are. That they can do that. Uh, for those of you who don't have a lot of patience, um, I'm warning you that if you if you take the tray off, if I was to take the tray off right now, some of the seed is stuck to the back of that tray, and uh, that would be problematic. So you really do need to wait for them to uh, germinate once you've put that top cap on. One of the beauties of growing microgreens is they don't need any fertilizer. The uh, everything that the uh, seedling needs is already in the seed. Um, I've watered them, you know, watered the soil today. It definitely won't need any uh, while they germinate. Maybe, um, you know, after they're up 
you know, half inch, three quarters of an inch, you may see that you need a little bit of water to add a little bit of water. The color on that uh, seed starting mix will change back to its dry color um, from a dark color and then you can add some water at that time. But don't go crazy with it, um, just keep them lightly moist. So again, about three, four days, I'm gonna take this top tray off. You'll notice the seedlings at that point are just yellow because they haven't been in any light. And almost immediately, maybe over 24, the next 48 hours, the lights on these fluorescent lights will turn them green and then they grow very quickly and I can harvest them in maybe 12, 14 days, something like that from today. I'm going to do another tray with some different things in it um, about that time and I will show you the results of this, uh, of this tray with the sunflowers and the brassica mix at that time. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel for uh, upcoming content. Thanks for watching.